Hi everyone, welcome to Terry Cotier. In this audio insight, I will be sharing about 5 ways to make 10,000 friends quickly. It is very important to have friends. They are the people who can help you obtain the future they are looking for. Relationships can take you places, help you get an interview, connect you to the right deals, find you the ideal business partner and even get you a lovely wife. How can one achieve all that with just a few friends around them? It is time to expand your circle of friends and take this world by storm. The Chinese have got this saying that if something is very important, you've got to say it three times. So the first way to make 10,000 friends very quickly is via social media, social media, and social media. If you're not on any social media platforms today, it is time for you to open your laptop and start creating social media accounts. Because if you do not even have one social media account, then you are living in the cave of today's era. Look at this. On Facebook, there are 2.23 billion active users. That means 30% of the world's population, they are on Facebook. YouTube, there is a 1.8 billion active user base. WeChat, dominated by the Chinese industry, 1.04 billion active users. Instagram, bought over by Facebook, 1 billion active users today. Twitter, 336 million active users. LinkedIn, half a billion users. Pinterest, growing very quickly, now 200 million active users. Look at the amount of potential friends you're able to make. The sky is the limit. If you have around 10,000 friends in your phone list, then you are considered as a well-connected individual. That should be your aim today. Know that people seek value from other people also, just like how you would want to seek value from someone else. Therefore, set up your account nicely with interesting information about yourself, about topics that interest you, so that when you approach a stranger, he or she would be happy to befriend you or follow your social media account. If you want some examples, please visit our Twitter page at Terry Cotier, or you could visit our Instagram page at Terry Cotier. Choose a social media platform that your community uses. For example, if you live in China, I'm sure Facebook would not be your number one choice. Instead, WeChat would be the platform to use. If you live in Singapore, you could explore the use of Facebook to get more friends. Whatever the platform might be, it is important that you communicate with people so that they eventually can become your friend. So this is what I would do. I would send out a simple but personal message addressing the individual. And this is what I would say. Hi James, saw your post on having dinner at Gardens by the Bay. Always wanted to have a meal there with my family. Is it expensive? If Jane replies to you, he says, Hi Terry, yeah, it's really expensive. The service wasn't too good also. Avoid that place. At this point, I would add James as a friend and reply with a final message saying, Hey James, thanks for the reply. I'm going to avoid that place at all cost. So if you do this on five different persons, and assuming only two would accept your friend request. Now think about this. In one month, you will gain 60 new friends. And this is only an assumption that you're practicing on one social media platform. Just imagine if you're doing it on three, you will grow your friend base very quickly. The second way to increase your friend circle to the 10,000 mark as soon as you can is to network with people in school. If you spend 20 years of your life going through education, just imagine how many people you would rub shoulders with during your time in school. Anyone who is too proud to make friends in school is a person who is deliberately wasting a great opportunity given to them. Don't hide behind the curtains. Take this chance to join clubs, co-curricular activities, class outings, school excursions, and just by simply saying hi to the stranger sitting next to you could help you tremendously in increasing your number of friends. Grow your social media accounts with your schoolmates and classmates. You don't need a reason to add them. They already have something in common with you and you see them every day anyways. I would hop onto instant messaging applications like WhatsApp, WeChat, or Discord. And I will create groups or servers for like-minded people to share valuable information. For example, create a group with the title Class of 2018, Boys Only, Art Club Bonanza, Excursion to the Zoo for October 2018, Counter-Strike Players, and so on and so forth. So your group will grow by itself if people see value in it. So the more group members you have, the more friends you can find also. So for me personally, I am a group owner for five different groups on a WeChat platform. So I have access to about, say, maybe 
2,000 to 3,000 people very easily. And what I do is this, I provide information. I just Google for the information and then forward it to the group. And so these people who are probably too lazy to, to type the news URL to look for a certain news. And then what I do is I'll bring the information and feed it to them right in front of their face. So they'll feel that this is very convenient because they are using this application anyways. And then they are getting updates. They're getting to know what's happening in this world real time. So with that, you create value to your group. And once when there is value, they'll invite other people. When they invite other people, you get more people who would know you. You have access to all these people. Your authority increases and then you will make more friends. Way number three is to sign up for professional courses. The power of taking up courses is not only in the part of you being able to improve yourself in a particular area of need. You're going to be in the same room with many like-minded people for more than 10 hours. You are surely going to interact and make new friends with high value very, very quickly. Having to say this, I need to warn you, don't be the weird one going to every single person, shaking their hands and being overly enthusiastic. When people sense that from you, being overzealous, they will probably take many steps back. So what you do is, be subtle, shake their hands, say hi, exchange a name card, and do it to as many friends as you can. Of course, you will pick and choose people who you think that has got a similar mindset with you or has got a similar goal with you. You know, the wonderful thing about being in courses also is that when the trainer is going to ask you to, to give presentations, you can discuss as a group, you'll be able to know and understand your group members, and then you can think about who you want to further the relationship with. So courses don't only just upgrade your skill set, but it also can find you more friends. Way number four is quite an obvious one. Go out with your friends. I used to be very homebound because I was an introverted little kid who thinks that going out is a waste of time and a waste of money. But you'll be surprised. When you go out with your friends, this is one of the fastest and quickest way to meet other new friends because they might bring them to join the party. If you're out with a bunch of business people, always have your name cards ready on hand with you. Giving out your name card to someone is a professional thing to do. It also opens up conversation to help you to know the other person better. Take the extra step to add this new friend in your instant messaging application. I would always say, hey, let us keep in touch and stay connected on WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, WeChat, and etc. But just choose one. If not, again, you'll be seen as over-enthusiastic. If you're on a social outing, giving out name cards might not be the appropriate thing to do. The best way to get a person's contact is to strike up a conversation with them and request to stay connected after that. And the final way to grow your friend circle to the 10,000th mark as soon as you can is to befriend your colleagues. Have you heard of the saying that your workplace is your second home? When you make friends with your colleagues, you not only increase the size of your friend circle, but at the same time, you will make your life at work easier. Think about how you will be able to get what you want from the people who are closer to you. Go ahead, don't be shy to attend dinner functions, be part of your company's social media account, go for dinner and dance parties, organize drinking sessions, help a colleague once in a while, be professional and nice when communicating with people via email, instant messaging, or even if you see them face to face. Join your colleagues for lunch and if possible, invite them to your house for dinner. Expand your circle of friends the right way, the smart way, and do it fast because expanding your circle of friends is a smart thing to do. It costs you close to nothing but the returns on this investment is super high. So let us do a recap right now. Five ways to make 10,000 friends quickly. Point number one, social media, social media, social media. Point number two, network with people in school. Point number three, sign up for professional courses. Number four, go out with friends. And number five, befriend your colleagues. Thank you once again for listening to Terry Cotier's Audio Insight. We hope your life has been transformed. Till next time, bye-bye. If you like this audio insight, feel free to click on the subscribe button so that you can be reminded of more updates in time to come. Thank you.